SideFX invited us to London for the Houdini 20 launch featuring KinFX. And we also thought this would be a good reason to feature KinFX heavily in MLOps number three. So in this video, we want to talk a bit about MLOps 3, but also the general feature set and the general history of MLOps. So I'd say, let's go on an adventure. So I'd say, let's take a look at one of the features focusing on KinFX. Let's start with skeletal extraction. So the machine learning operator toolset that we've built for Houdini. Lots of cool things you can do with it. What are some things that you'd like to use them with? <laughs> well, first I think we need to point out that um, the reason why we built those. And typically when you want to work with machine learning within Houdini or in general as an artist, you need to write a bit of Python and a bit of boilerplate code. And that's not necessarily something you want to do. No, you want to be busy building awesome things, building creative things, making things look really nice and not deal with building tools because that's what we've done for you. So using these nodes in Houdini, you can just use them as regular geometry operators, modifying all the attributes, reading all the attributes, doing things with them. So what could you do with it? For example, if you want to segment something that means drawing masks in an image like this here, typically lots of hand work. But now you can just use the sand model and boom, you're done. Yeah. And once again, because they're just regular Houdini nodes, you can combine them with all the other algorithms that MLOps offers you as well as. I think well it's as. hard not to understate um, the importance of being able to mingle and to access the data that's being passed around, not um, only within um, the MLOps nodes, but also just being able to access them using standard default Houdini. It's just opening up a whole new universe of being able to work with those <laughs> machine learning models. Exactly. So combining them with, uh, you know, copy to points, combining them with noises, combining them with all the other cool things you can do within Houdini and building cool things with it. This is normal. We are professional 3D creatives. One more funny thing that you can do with MLOps is semantically analyze images. For example, let's check how British this view is here. Britishness rating. So as far as it comes to developing MLOps, we follow a certain strategy, um, a special strategy. And what do you think is the advantage for the user in that? Yeah, so the strategy that we use is just very agile development. And what that means for you as a user is that we build something very quickly, but we also give it to you very quickly because we want to make sure that what we build is useful to you and we want you to follow along in our development, which is why we use GitHub where you can literally follow along on our development as we go. So that was a brief peek into what we've got to offer with MLOps 3 and with that. If you want to try out AI or ML within Houdini, just download it, give it a try, and please leave us feedback so we can keep improving it. Like, subscribe, and enjoy. <laughs>